Hey everybody, it's Gabe, and uh, as you may have seen yesterday on television, I was on the Ellen Show getting pranked by Tim McGraw. Um, so I thought that I would show you a Tim McGraw song. Um, so we're gonna do Live Like You're Dying, and uh, I'm gonna break down each section, just show you the chords, how to strum it, and everything, so get tuned up. Okay, so for the intro, I'm playing basically just C and D back and forth, but I'm starting with an open C, and then I'm taking that shape and sliding it up a whole step, leaving the first string and the third string open so that you hear these nice color notes on top of the chord. After that, I'm going to do the C again, but instead of starting it from the fifth string, I'm going to start it from the fourth. And again, play everything open. Then take your first two fingers, slide them up a whole step. Again, this is kind of like a D, but you get those nice open strings on the top. So still the first and the third open. So here's that whole thing. So C, slide it up a whole step. Go back down to C, but start from the fourth. Slide this up a whole step from the fourth. All right, and then we're gonna move on to the verse. Okay, so for the verses, you're going to start with a G, and the way that I'm playing it is doing it the four finger way, so the pinky's on the first string, the third finger's on the second, and then you got your first on the fifth string, second fret, your middle finger, third fret on the sixth string. Uh, so there you go from the other side, okay? And so the first chord is that G, and then immediately after, all you're going to do is you're going to take your first two fingers, drop them down a string. So you get what's called a C add nine. Okay, then after that, you're gonna take your first finger, put it to the fifth string on the second fret, your middle finger is gonna do nothing, and then you're gonna strum all six, so this will be E minor seven. You're gonna follow that with a D, but still keep the pinky on the first string. And then we're gonna go back to that C add nine. And then you're gonna repeat that. So G, C add nine, E minor 7, go into that D, going back to C add 9. And the way that I'm strumming this, kind of making it up, but um, the way that I'm going is like 1, 2, and a, E and a, 4, and a. So if you've counted your rhythms like that before, so 1, 2, and a, E and a, 4, and a. And I'm kind of doing that through the whole thing, but sort of um, varying up my, my strumming so it's not exactly the same every single time. So here's those four chords. So G, C, E minor, D, C. And then you'll repeat that. And then the next section is E minor. You're going to Take the note that's on the fourth string on the second fret, drop it a half a step, so it's on the first fret on the fourth string. And you're only gonna strum the top four strings, then you're gonna take that finger away, and still play it from the fourth, and then you're gonna take it to that C add nine. You're gonna wait for a little bit, and then you're gonna do some power chords on the C. And that kicks you into the chorus. You do. I went 
Okay, so for the chorus, you're going to start with a G. It's going to go to C add 9. You're going to go to an E minor, normal, to a D, back to C add 9. Then you're going to go back to G, B7, E minor, D, C add 9. You're going to hold this out for a little bit. Then you're going to go back to D, then back to G. And then you're kind of at the top of where the, the verses are, so that interlude between the chorus and the next verse, it's G, C add 9, the E minor 7, going to the, the D with the pinky, or you can even do the D normally. Okay, so here's that whole thing. Okay, so this is after the second chorus, and there's that bridge, which is the same as the end of the verse, so you got that E minor, dropping it down, doing the open, going to C, and then we're going to hold that C and kind of do what we did on the intro, which is the C, climbing up a whole step, and then you're going to do that C with from the fourth string, and you're going to hold this out, and then hits and then you're into the next chorus, but the key is different. So I'm gonna play along with the record and then I'll show you that. Okay, so here is the final chorus. So it's now in the key of A. So everything that we just played is gonna be a little bit different. Um, it's gonna sound exactly the same. It's just gonna sound um, a little bit higher.
Okay, so for that last chorus, we're now in a different key. So we're going to be starting with an A, and then we're going to go to D, but it's sus2, so you're just pretty much using the, the third string and the second string. You can play it different ways, so the first finger, like you'd play a D, but take the middle finger away. Um, or you can do it with one and two, either way, whatever works for it. And then you're going to go to an F sharp minor, so here's bar chord, right? Then down to an E, back to that D sus2. Okay, then we're going to move on to an A, and then C sharp 7. So it's kind of like playing like a C7, if you've ever done this as an open chord, but moving it one half step higher. Then going back to the F sharp minor, back to E, and then you're going to go back to that D. You're going to hold this out for a little while, then you go back to E, and then you're just going to keep alternating between A and D, just back and forth. So that's how the song will end, okay? So the other thing that you can do if you're kind of a lead player, if you want to sort of make a lead up uh, at the end of the song, so they're just grooving over that A to the D, um, you would be using A major pentatonic. So here's my A. And actually on the record, the guy's all the way up an octave. Right, so I'm just gonna play along with um, with the track and just kind of show you what I can do with the lead right there. Alright, so hopefully you get the idea with the tune. Um, it was really fun making this. Um, it was fun meeting Tim and Ellen. Um, Tim is a really nice guy uh, off camera, um, and so it was just a really great experience. Um, so next time, Tim, let me play the song with you for real, alright? So I will see everybody next time.